በኢትዮጵያ የአሜሪካ ኤምባሲ ብሄራዊ የፈጠራ ውድድር ሊያካሂድ ነው ወጣት ኢትዮጵያውያን በአገራቸው በተለይም በህብረተሰባቸው ውስጥ የሚታዩ አንድ አንድ ችግሮችን በቴክኖሎጂና የፈጠራ ክሎታቸው ሊያስወግዱ የሚችሉበትን ተግባር ለማበረታታት የአሜሪካ ኤምባሲ ውድድሩን ስፖንሰር ማድረጉን አስተውቋል የፈጠራ ውድድሩ የአዲስ አበባና የድሬዳዋ መስዳድሮችን ጨምሮ በተመረጡ ዘጠኝ የሀገሪቱ ከተሞች የሚካሄድ ይሆናል ሙሉ ፕሮግራሙ እንድትከታተሉ ጋብዘናችኋል the US embassy in particular works closely with universities throughout the country to work on continuing to improve the standards of education the quality of the opportunities available so that Ethiopian young people can meet the challenges of the future and i think that that's a goal that the government shares uh this is a building on not in place of the progress that's already been made <laughs> ከተዋለፈ ሶፊያ ከዚህ ሰምታችሁ ሆነ አላቅም ሳቲ አረባ የመጀመሪያ ዜግነት የተሰጣት ሮቦት የሆነ ሶፍትዌር ፓርቷ ምን ነው ባለው እዚ የተሰራ ነው ትክክለኛ የተሰሩት ወይ የቀረው ሶፍትዌሮች ላይ የኛ ኮንትሪቢዩሽን አለ ማለት ነው And so building on that um the success that Icog Labs has had in the private sector I think coming back to your earlier question it's worth considering if a private successful company has the feeling that the caliber of graduates are not up to the task for the kind of things they're doing that's a conversation worth having uh one of the things that we think is very important for Ethiopia's success is this kind of cooperation between the the public and private sectors to make sure that the, the public sector is meeting the needs of the private sector and vice versa so one of the great things about this competition and why we're partnering with Icog Labs is to bring those ideas to a wider audience and have that discussion how do we take the progress ethiopia has made and build on it and certainly our cop labs has proven it really but the kind of labs in the mulus nehru was a day but i don't know because what it's since i know what the university which are and no no by go because in shit is around and and an example of the students probably in the journalist you can touch you can touch but the guy that you were a way the state me direct and the minister said yeah we don't know ከርሻመር ወደ ኢንደስትሪ መር ኢኮኖሚ እንሽጋገራል በ2025 ማለት ነገር ግን እኛም ካለን ኤክስፒሪያንስ ከዩኒቨርሲቲዎቹ ጋር ስንሰራ ፕላስ ደግሞ እንደ አንድ ኖርማል ዜጋ ያን ያየናል ሊትራሊ ያየናል ለምሳሌ ዩኒቨርሲቲያችን በትክክል ልትፈትሹ የተሟላ ማቴሪያል ሳይኖራቸው የተሟላ ኤጁኬሽን ደረጃ ላይ ሳይደርሱ ነው የተመረቀው ከቴክኖሎጂ ዲፓርትመንቶች ማለት እና ምክንያቱም ይሄን ሙሉ ማሉ ስቴት ማድረግ እንችላለን ያለው ስለ ተሶስት ሰዓታት ክሊክ ሊስን ሰራተት ስለነበረ ማለት ነው። አት ዘ ሴም ታይም ወደ ህብረተሰቡ ስለመጣ በአፕሊኬሽን የህብረተሰቡ የሆነ ፕሮብሌም ላይ ሶልቭ አድርጎ ነበር እና በመጀመሪያ ማርኬት ሊኖር ይገባል። የህብረተሰቡ ችግር ስለቀረፈኝ እኔ ማርኬት አገኛለሁ ማለት አለ። ምን ያህል የኢትዮጵያ ህብረተሰብ ክፍል በስልኩ ወይም በዴስክቶፕ ላይ ለምንሰጠው ሰርቪስ ይከፍለን ዊሊንግ ነው። ይሄን ላይክ እንደ ግሩፕ እንደ ሀገር ምን እየሰራው ማለት ነው ማለት ነው ማርኬት ክሬት ማለት ነው ማለት ነው እኔ በርግጥ እኔ ለታረጋግጭ የሆነ ግራጭ እንደ አይኮክ ሜገርስ ፕሮጀክት ኢኒሼቲቭ ፕሮጀክት ማኔጀር 32 አካባቢ ያሉ ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች እነዚህ 32 ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች ዊዝ ኤክሰፕሽን ኦፍ ኮጭ ሀገር ፓርትነር ጋር ተጣምደው ካሉና በስተቀር ከኢንክቤሽን ተደራጅተው አንድ የሚወጣ ፕሮጀክት ነው ምናልባት በተደጋጋሚ ውሸቶች ለናታሊ ነገራቸው ይችላል አንድ የሚወጣ ፕሮጀክት ግን የለም ይሄንን አስረድቼ ነበርኳ ስለዚህ ሶልቪት አንደኛው አላማ ምንድን ነው እንደ እንደ ምከራ ነው ኤክስፐርመንት ከእርሻ ምርት ወደ ኢንደስትሪ ማር ተሻጋገር አገር አንዱ የቴክኖሎጂ ፕሮግረስ ሳይኖራት እንዴት ማድረጋው ወደ ኢንደስትሪ ኢኮኖሚ ተሻጋገር አስችለው ስለዚህ በየዘጠኙም ከተማውጨው ያወረ ነው ፕሮባብሊ ብዙዎቻቹ አዲስ አበባ ላይ እንደዚህ አሁን እንደ ፋሽን ነው ማለት ነው የቴክኖሎጂ ኢንዱስትሪ ቴክኖሎጂ ኢንዱስትሪ was the new thing to reach out to the fashion one everybody be in the road launch ነው ያለው ነገር solvitin ግንኛ ከዩኤስ ኢምባሲ ጋር በመተባበር shape ስናደርጉ ሐሳባችን ሲምፕሊ የውድድራን ነው እንድንቻል ሐሳባችን በመጀመሪያ በሙሉ የኢትዮጵያ ክፍሎች ላይ ይዳረሱ including እስከነ ጋምቤላ እስከነ ጅጅጋ ሳማራ ድረስ far corners of ethiopia ይሄን የቴክኖሎጂ ሐሳብ ይሄዱ ጋር ነው ያለው የመጀመሪያ ከዛ በኋላ ደግሞ ለተኛ እንደ ሰርቬይ እንሰራ ፈልጋለ ሪል ቴክኖሎጂ ና አንደርስታንድ ነው ያለው ሶሳይቲ ነው አለ ቴክኖሎጂ ደግሞ አሁን የቴክኖሎጂ ፕሮዳክት ከበቆሎ ነው ወይ ከርሻ ነው ይለየው እንደሆነ ተወዳዳሪ ነው መቻል ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ የሰራው ቴክኖሎጂ ኬንያ ወይ 
ታንዛኒያ ወይ ሚያለም ኢኮኖሚ ላይ ተወዳድሮ መሸጥ መቻል አለበት በቆሎ በቆሎ ይሄን ይለያ ስለዚህ ያንንም ቴክኖሎጂ ሁሉ ሰዎች አሉ ወይ ቢለው ስትረስ አድርገን ቼክ ልናደርግላው ይችላል ስለዚህ ከውድድሩ ጀርባ ኢታ ዘ ቢግ ፊሎሶፊ ባይ ነው አሁን ያለ ያለው የትከለበት ያለውና ከሄ ከኢንቨስትዎቻችን ጋር ጨምረ በመፈትሽበት ነው I think it's pretty well known that the US is probably the largest contributor uh, and partner for Ethiopia in terms of both humanitarian and development assistance. Uh, but I think more importantly, what we want to focus on is the fact that we envision a future where Ethiopians stand on their own, take care of their own challenges, and lead themselves into a better future. So a lot of what we want to focus on is empowerment and giving people the tools and skills that they need to move the country ahead to the brighter future that we all want to see. So the solvent competition is a natural outgrowth of these priorities. And in fact, we have a history of uh, promoting what we call STEAM, that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Uh, in fact, we're sitting right now in what's called a maker space. So as part of our American Spaces program, each of our American Spaces has what's called a maker space where we have equipment that you can see around you, such as robotics, electronics, 3D printing, uh, virtual reality equipment, uh, coding, all sorts of things to provide access to this sort of technology. Uh, also, we have the well-known Girls Can Code project, which over the past two years has trained over 200 Ethiopian girls in basic coding and technological proficiency. And of course, we're hoping that at least some of them will take part in this competition. So the Solvit competition is kind of a step forward. This is going to be a nationwide event uh, that provides training and capacity building and workshops to innovators all over the country in nine different regions. Um, over the next several months, people will have the opportunity to develop technological, either software or hardware solutions to Ethiopia's challenges. We're leaving that pretty wide open because we want to see the innovative ideas that Ethiopia's young people can come up with. The program is open to all Ethiopians ages 18 to 28, uh, and it's really up to them to decide where this goes. Uh, for, for us, the flip side of the technology component, I think, is a little bit of a democracy component. Uh, technology can be a way for people's voices to be heard and for problem solving to occur at a community level with a national impact. So we're really excited to see what the participants will come up with. Um, the outcome of this program will depend on the quality of the submissions that we receive. Our intent is to provide networking opportunities and the chance for the participants to pitch their ideas to investors in the hopes of obtaining seed grants or seed money to further their 